<clears throat> You've committed zina. Now what? And, then, and for anyone who can vibe with this, you know what I'm talking about. You've committed zina. You did something that you're not proud of. You are, you know, soaking in this regret of yours. You are leaving their home, their house, that area, environment in which you have committed an act against yourself. You've, you've committed a sin against yourself. You've done something that you're not proud of. You're leaving the room of that person and you're going home on that walk of shame. You, you feel the instant regret once the deed is done. The shaitan has fled and now you are left with your own actions to reminisce and play over and over in your mind again. And then the shaitan comes back, of course. And the same way he caused you, encouraged you, guided you to and facilitated this sin, he now talks to you in a way in which he you know, and tells you you're not worth it. You're not worthy. So he helps you sin that makes you feel like trash after. That's the game if you haven't figured it out by now. So this is a guide on what to do next after you have committed zina. The first thing that you have to do after you commit a zina is turn back to Allah. Acknowledge what your mistakes are and turn back to Allah. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Daddy's just recording a video. <coughs> I want you to go back to the story of Adam, alayhi salam. And I want you to think back to the grave mistake that he made. The sin that he committed in forgetfulness. Not on purpose. <coughs> with forgetfulness. The biggest blessing that came out of that sin, and you're like, ask you, how can a blessing come out of a sin? I'm gonna get to it. The biggest blessing that came out of that sin was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught Adam alayhi salam how to seek forgiveness. So if you and I want to change our circumstances of zina, if you and I want to change the circumstance of what... Thank you, beautiful. Thank you so much. If we want to change our, our, our hearts and lives and circumstances when it comes to zina, the first thing that we have to do is seek forgiveness. But let's seek forgiveness the same way Adam Islam sought forgiveness. By acknowledging that the sin that he had committed, the mistake that he had done, was an atrocity against himself. You see, when you commit zina, it feels good. Not the, the, the self-loathing after, but I'm talking about in the process. It feels nice, it feels good. You're doing something, you know, sexual, it feels good. But the problem is that no matter how good it feels, you've committed a crime against yourself. So when you commit zina, it's easy for you to self-loathe, feel bad about yourself, and just go from that perspective. But next perspective I want to give you is seeking Allah's forgiveness and acknowledging who is the root of the problem. And that's yourself. You see, Adam Islam didn't blame the shaitan. He didn't blame the circumstance or situation. Adam Islam acknowledged his own weakness and fault. So the first thing that you have to do in seeking forgiveness, because anyone could say, seek forgiveness, brother. Seek forgiveness after the zina. But the biggest thing that you have to do when you, when you seek this forgiveness is truly, truly acknowledge whose mistake it was, and it was your own. Now, after you've done all those things, you have a choice to make. You can take that guilt, harness it, hate yourself, 
hate everything about yourself, go down on yourself and just be like, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I, I, I suck. I'm the worst. Or I want to give you a different idea. You could take that guilt and harness that momentum. Your guilt is momentum. Harness that momentum and use it in the direction to get closer to Allah. Then that sin of yours becomes the biggest blessing of your life. That's cute. Are you encouraging me to sin? Only a sick-minded person would think that way. This video is to let you know that after you have committed zina, what do you do then? You seek forgiveness, brother. But how? By acknowledging who's the problem. Acknowledging that it's you. You've committed a crime against yourself. Then after you've done that, you have a choice to make. You can take that guilt and just... So stupid! Or... Or... You can take that guilt and generate the momentum that comes with that guilt and propel you to move closer to Allah. That is the choice that you and I have to make because my brothers and sisters out there who've done this deed, you and I know very well that you can't take it back. You can't renege on that deed. It's done. So I'm asking you, what now? I'm asking you, what now? Is seeking Allah's forgiveness not enough? Is seeking Allah's forgiveness and acknowledging your mistakes not enough? Is not, is, is not using that guilt to propel you to get closer to Allah not enough? Is it not enough? What else do you need? What else do you, re do you require? It's easy to sit down and hate yourself. It's easy to do that. But it's difficult to acknowledge your own mistakes and move forward with those mistakes. Make this the best mistake of your life. Because this is what's going to turn your life around. It's going to change your life around. Only if you allow it to be. I don't know. That's the truth. I don't know. Only a person who committed this sin, like, yeah, you hear what I'm saying, but the truth is you're like, SQ, let's be serious here, man. Let's be serious here. It ain't that easy. You're right. It's not that easy. It's a guilt that you'll have to live with for the rest of your life. But if this guilt leads you closer to Allah, then at least this sin was done in a more positive manner. And there was a positive outcome of that sin. But I promise you, there's no point of beating yourself up. The reason this video is titled, I Committed Zina, Now What? is because I wanted this to be the next steps to your life to help you in doing what you need to do to become a better person. Thank you so much for watching. I pray that this benefited you and helped those who needed it the most. I know that if I was in this situation and circumstance, I'd feel really ashamed of myself and you probably feel ashamed of yourself too. But what are you going to do about it? Are you just going to feel ashamed about yourself and continue to go down on yourself and lower yourself now? Or are you going to take that shame or are you going to take that guilt and convert it, change it to worshipping Allah and drawing closest to Him? May Allah bless you all and protect us and our private parts from committing zina and doing acts of crimes against ourselves. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.